everyone. My name is Miss Julia. You can find me at the Edward F. Fry Memorial Library at Point of Rocks. Welcome to Frederick County Public Library's virtual story time. While our branches are closed, we have virtual story times Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Well, it's been a few weeks since I last saw all of you. Hi, let's go ahead and wave and say hello, hello. You can say good morning, good morning. Thank you, it's nice to be greeted. Well, I don't know if you remember my hello song from a few weeks ago, but we can learn it again, right? Okay, great. All right, so it's very simple. Get your hands ready. Can I see your hands? Can I see your hands? Great, okay. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. And I hope that you are too. Great job. Do you want to try again? Do you remember these signs? Remember to put your thumb right between your bent middle finger and then cross your index finger. Can you see that? And then use your wrists. Try again. Okay. Let's try it. Hello. Hello. Hello, and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Great job, well done. It's really nice to be able to sing with you. Now that we're done singing, I do have a story to share. It's called One Day in the Eucalyptus Eucalyptus Tree. This story is by Daniel Bernstrom. The pictures are by Brendan Wenzel and a huge thank you to Catherine Teigen Books for letting us use your beautiful story. A lot of fun pictures in this one. One day in the leaves of the eucalyptus tree hung a scare in the air where no eye could see when along skipped a boy with a whirly twirly toy to the shade of the eucalyptus eucalyptus tree. He's just skipping along, having a nice day. <gasps> Wait, do you see something in the picture? What is it? Is this something dangerous? No, this is just a storybook. There's nothing dangerous in here. <gasps> oh, what's that? I guess we'll find out. Down, down slid the snake from the leaves of the tree and gobbled up the boy with his whirly twirly toy one day in the eucalyptus eucalyptus tree. I'll bet, said the boy in the belly dark and deep, that you're still very hungry and there's more you can eat. Do you think, said the snake to the boy with the toy, that there's room for something yummy with you inside my tummy? came a chirp from the leaves of the tree. Oh, a bird with a worm in a game of hide and seek. Oh, sneaky, slidey zipped the snake from his place in the leaves and gobbled up the bird and her ooey gooey worm one day in the eucalyptus, eucalyptus tree. <gasps> he ate the bird. I know, I'm nervous too. I don't like when snakes eat birds. I'll bet, said the boy in the belly dark and deep, that you're still very hungry and there's more you can eat. Purr, purr, came a stir from the leaves of the tree. <gasps> a cat in a nap on his furry, furry back. Do any of you have cats? I have a cat. His name is Blaze. I would hate for something to happen to him. Under, over, slid the snake from his place in the leaves and gobbled up the cat in his dozy, cozy nap one day in the eucalyptus, eucalyptus tree. Are you seeing a pattern? I'm seeing one. Oh, surely, very surely, Mr. Snake, said the boy. There is room, still more room, so much more to enjoy. Why do we think our young friend is encouraging the snake to eat more? I don't know, it's a head scratcher. 
Crinkle, wrinkle came a rustle from the leaves of the tree. Oh, a sloth cloaked in moss, sipping leafy, leafy tea. Wiggle Waggle stretched the snake from his place in the leaves and gobbled up the sloth clothed in fuzzy wuzzy moss. One day in the eucalyptus eucalyptus tree. Here we go again. I'll bet, said the boy in the belly dark and deep, that you're still very hungry, that there's more that you can eat. Slurp, brrr, came a belch from the leaves of the tree. Excuse me. Oh, an ape eating grapes, lounging like a queen. Twist, twist, bent the snake from his place in the leaves and gobbled up the ape and her munchy bunch of grapes one day in the eucalyptus eucalyptus tree. Here we go again. Oh, surely, very surely, Mr. Snake, said the boy. There is room, still more room, so much more to enjoy. Munch, munch, came a crunch from the leaves of the tree. Oh, a rare kind of bear munching tasty, tasty greens. Up, up, snake the snake from his place in the leaves and gobbled up the bear with the qually wally hair. Do you see his hair? Kind of looks like bedhead. One day in the eucalyptus, eucalyptus tree. Do you think, asked the snake to the boy with the toy, I should take one more bite while my tummy feels so tight? Ooh. Don't eat way too much. Oh, your stomach kind of hurts. Oh, surely, very surely, Mr. Snake, said the boy. There is room, so much room. Go ahead, please enjoy. Do you think there's any room in here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Buzz, buzz, hummed a noise from the leaves of the tree. Oh, a hive full of bees, dancing happily. Creaky, eeky, inched the snake from his place in the leaves and gobbled up the hive and the bumbling bees inside one day in the eucalyptus, eucalyptus tree. I'll bet, said the boy in the belly dark and deep, that you're still very hungry, that there's more you can eat. No said the snake. Oh, surely, very surely, Mr. Snake, said the boy. There is room, still more room. Do you think there's any more room inside this snake? No, I hear a lot of no's. Did I hear a yes? Um, no, said the snake. Something small, asked the boy. Hissed the snake from his place in the leaves. Oh. A fruit, a small fruit swaying in the breeze, and on that piece of fruit, that plummy, chummy fruit, was a teeny, tiny fly. Gulp. Gurgle, gurgle came a blurble from that belly deep and full. Stretch, stretch, stretch! <laughs> Belch! <laughs> Whizzed the fly, out rolled the fruit, out buzzed the hive, out ran the bear, out swung the ape, out slunk the sloth, out dashed the cat, out flew the bird, out slimed the worm, and out skipped the boy with his whirly twirly toy. Very clever. And, oh, 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 oh moaned the snake, I've a crummy tummy ache. One day, in the eucalyptus, eucalyptus tree. <sighs> He's acting very relaxed considering he just got swallowed by a snake. And that's the end of our story one day in the eucalyptus, eucalyptus tree. Wow, let's give that one an applause. Yeah, so he was very clever, our boy with the whirly twirly toy. He was thinking, he was trying to outsmart, convince, hope, that he would be able to get out of the snake's belly. Well, next I do have a flannel story I'd like to do with you. Now, because of everything that's going on, we're still in quarantine. And one of the things that I miss about 
Not being in quarantine is going to parties and seeing my friends. And especially in the summertime, because a lot of my friends actually have summer birthdays. So let's see if we can kind of have a party of our own. Maybe talk about some shapes and some colors we'll see at parties. Like, uh, you know how there's always a table with presents on it? Yeah? So my table here is square. And what color is my square? It's kind of a blue color, yeah? I think it's technically called teal, but it's blue, all right? And what goes on a table at a party? That's right, presents go on a table. Uh, maybe some food, maybe some drinks, maybe some water, yeah. So, hmm, what do you think this could be? Could be a placemat. That's a very nice party. Huh. What else is round at a party? Specifically, a birthday party. A cake? Well, what goes on the cake? You're right. Candles. So on our round cake, we'll put two candles. All right. Wow. It's someone's second birthday. It could be someone's second birthday for the 80th time in a row. You don't know. Wait a minute. Something about these candles. Oh, I need to light them. Great. Well, I left my matches at home, but I've got these flannel ones. Beep. Beep. All right. Should we blow them out very safely? All right. Just for safety's sake, I'll use my mask. That didn't work. I'll just take them off. Woo! <gasps> there we go! We bought the candles! Very cool! Now, before we take down the flannel, do we know what shape this is? Remember we talked about this one last time. It's like a square, but stretched. A rectangle, that's right! This is an orange rectangle. Very good, my friends. And now, before we go, I would like to review some of our American Sign Language. Go ahead and take my mask off for now. Uh, now, last time we practiced words like water and summer and vacation. Do you remember those words? Well, based on this little party we had, I thought it would be fun to learn signs like candle or cake. So, we ready? Let me see your hands. Get your hands out. Stretch your phalanges. Uh, that's a fancy science word for fingers. Ah, uh, there we go. Ready? Stretched. Ready? Yeah. Get your shoulders relaxed. Move your feet around. You got very good. You have glasses. Be careful. Okay. So let's learn the sign for candle. Okay. Take one of your hands. Have knuckles out. And then take your other hand and just with your index finger or your pointer finger. You can see my face. You actually put it up against your palm like this, and you keep the knuckles out. So this finger's kind of hidden, and then you wiggle your fingers like a flame, like a candle flame. That's right. This is the sign for candle. See? Candle. All right. And next, we're going to learn the sign for cake. Okay? So take one hand, place it flat, because you can't just have a cake hanging in the air. It's not a thing. So then you take your second hand and try to make an arch like that. Cake. Cake. Now sometimes you'll see folks using this sign for cake. There's two different signs for cake. I don't know, right? But this is the one I use with my family. Cake. Cake. Very good. Uh, let's see here. We also have the sign for party. Make two Y's, and we go party. You can move your head a little bit, smile. Yeah, you're at a party. Because if you were like this, it's kind of a lame party. But if it's like a party, it's a fun party. And let's see here, we also have the sign for fun. Two fingers here, face down. Two fingers up. We start at our nose, and we're going to end on top. So. Fun. Fun. So that was a fun party. Yeah. And let's see. 
one more. Sometimes we like to surprise folks for birthday parties, right? Yeah, sometimes. Now, surprise is a really fun sign. You're gonna take, Ms. Julie's gonna take her glasses off because it's a little bit easier to show without your glasses. But if you have glasses, please feel free to wear them. This is just for demonstrative purposes. So you close your eyes and then you take your fingers like a crab pincer and you go, surprise! You gotta open your eyes, surprise! Surprise! I like that sign. All right, my friends. Well, I think it's time for us to say goodbye. Now, again, just to repeat, while our branches are closed, we do have virtual story times Monday through Friday, right here, 10 a.m. Same library time, same library channel. All right, now our goodbye song. It's to Farmer in the Dell for anyone who wants to listen along. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye, my friends, goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Very good. I'll see you next time, my friends. Bye.